Hi guys, I sure do miss seeing you and we're going to give this online lesson a try here. Um, I have assigned to you the book Penguins in Epic um, and you can use your information from Mrs. Hoffman on logging into your Epic account epic account and you will find that I have assigned the book Penguins and it should be there for you. Um, this is an interesting book about penguins which are birds that do not fly um, but instead they swim and because they um, are swimming birds they live uh, differently than birds that fly and we're going to take a look at some information about penguins today. Um, I want you to flip through the, the pages in the book and the first thing I want you to do is just look at the pictures. Um, it's going to, this book is going to help you ask and answer questions about penguins um, and I want you to use uh, details when you're asking questions while you're thinking about the reading um, so that you can answer them using details. And there are a few sight words that I want to go over with you before you start reading this book. Um, take a minute, pause this, and look through your pictures. Come back to me when you're done. Good, now you've had a chance to look at your pictures. I want you to flip through the book now and turn to the page 10. On page 10, it's talking about their, meaning something that belongs to the penguins. Find the word there and underline that with your finger. Look through that and read the word there. Good, now flip to page 14. It's talking about how penguins get food and what they do. And there's a word in there, catch. I want you to find the word catch and check that slowly with your finger. You should see the part cat and then there's a chunk that goes with that. The CH, catch. Read that again, catch. Good. Now, turn to page 18, and you see a whole group of penguins there together. And on that page, it's talking about why they do that, to stay warm. I want you to find the word warm on that page and check all the parts, the parts at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end for the word warm. Did you find that? Good. All right. Now, in this book, you are going to read about um, the penguin's body, what they look like, and where they live. And there's a few words that are unusual um, that are pretty special to the words penguin. I want you to turn to the page eight. And on page eight, there's a blue word. And that blue word is waddled. I waddle. I want you to clap that word with me. Waddle. Clap it again. Listen to the parts. Good job. Now, that word waddle talks about how they look when they walk because their feet are and legs are very short. Now, turn to page 10. On page 10, it's talking about what their feet look like. And this is important because they're good swimmers and their feet are very special. They're webbed. Their fingers don't spread apart like this. They have skin. Look at the picture on your page. They have skin between their fingers and that helps them to push the water so that they can swim very well. Now I want you to find the word webbed on page 10. Look at the beginning part, look at the middle part. You'll find the part web and then you're going to find the ending ed, webbed. And so that is their very special feet help them to swim fast. Good job. Now 
Because this is an information book, the sentences are telling sentences and they end with periods. The end of the book is not a telling sentence, so it's going to end with a special punctuation. It's an asking. And so it has a special type of punctuation. When you read this book, I want to make sure that you look for that special punctuation at the end um, on the last page. And then the last thing that you can do when you're reading this book is if you have trouble with a word when you're reading it, you can click on that word. You know how Epic works. Sometimes the speaker will tell you that word, and sometimes it just gives you a clue. If you get stuck, there are things that you can do to help yourself. You can click on the speaker, and it will tell you the word. And if not, it's going to tell you about the word, and you can use that information and your thinking to think about what word it could be. And I want you to make sure you use that thinking. Now, the last thing that I want to do is let you know that in Dojo, um, you can take a picture of your writing, and we're going to work on writing about this book in a couple days, and I will send you a, spe a different um, lesson uh, through Dojo about what we're going to write about with this. So your job today is to read about penguins, to think about it, I want you to think about how the information uh, is told with those telling sentences, and I want you to think about um, how that influences how penguins live and what they do. And if you have any problems, you can click on those hint buttons and help yourself, but I don't want you to click until you've done your thinking. All right, good luck with this. You're ready for it. You're gonna do a great job. And we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.